Hello, it's me again. Um, wanted to finish talking about what we've been talking about today, my friends. Um, you know, the lukewarms, witchcraft, um, the nation's not, you know, not wanting to repent. But um, you're also going to deal with scorners and mockers, which that is something I have really dealt with for the past few years from people. And this can be strangers, this could be family, this could be so-called friends, but I have some Bible verses that, you know, I, that's helped me, you know, along my path dealing with these kind of people. All right, so you have Proverbs 24, 8, 9. The person who plans to do evil will be called a scheming person. A foolish scheme is sin, and the scorner is an abomination to the people. Proverbs 1, 22. How long will the gullible people love being so gullible? How long will the mockers find joy in mocking? How long will you fools hate knowledge? I'm saying, though. Amen. Proverbs 19, 28, 29. Make fun of wisdom and you will be punished, says the Lord. Psalms 35, 15 through 16. That basically talks about gnashing at the teeth, how so-called Christians will get mad when you just read it, dude. It's, <laughs> it's pretty on point about that. Isaiah 3, 11. Woe to the wicked. Disaster is upon them. They will pay, I will pay back for what their hands have done. All right. Mockers. I've been referred to Jeremiah here lately a lot. God's been, he's helping me understand that I have a way of thinking like Jeremiah. I get to feeling sorry for these people, but yeah. Jeremiah 17, 15. Listen to what they are saying to me. They are saying, where are these things, Lord, that threaten us? Come on, let's see them happen. You know, you're going to have people think, oh, well, Christ is not coming back. You know, they've been saying that for thousands of years. God's answer to that. Jeremiah 5, 26, 30. Should I not avenge myself on such a nation? I said that earlier, guys. Galatians 6, 7. Stop being deceived. God is not to be ridiculed. A person harvests whatever he plants. Isaiah 28, 22. Now stop your mocking or your chains will become heavier, the Lord. The Lord Almighty has told me of the, destru the destruction decree against the whole land. Proverbs 9, 4 through 12, my friend, mockers hate correction. And that is so very true. I can't stress that. There's also um, Hosea 7, 3, 3 through 6. 